Hey Kaylin, it's Grammy Kate. I wanted to make you a video um, so that you would see me and that you would have a book to read. And it turns out this whole business is a little bit harder than I thought, so I'm going to try again. I'm going to read you this book. It's called The Velveteen Rabbit. I sent you this book, so I hope you have it, and I'll give you a few minutes to go and get it. Because it would be cool if you were reading it along with me. Okay? Maybe mommy or daddy can help you get it? All right, here we go. The Velveteen Rabbit. There once was a Velveteen Rabbit, and in the beginning, he was splendid. His coat was shiny, and he had thread whiskers, and his ears were lined with pink satin. Do you see that? Let's turn the page. Yeah. See if I can hold it. In the nursery, the expensive mechanical toys snubbed the rabbit. They pretended they were real. That's these guys over here. The rabbit really had no idea what real meant. The rabbit asked the wise skin horse, what, what is real? Real isn't how you are made, he replied. It happens when a child really loves you. Do you have any toys that you really love, Kaylin? Let's turn the page. That night, Nana couldn't find the boy's regular bedtime toy. Here, said Nana, take this bunny. The boy cuddled the rabbit and fell sound asleep. Do you have a favorite toy you sleep with? The rabbit became the boy's favorite toy. They went everywhere together. The boy told Nana the rabbit was real. This made the rabbit happy. The rabbit's coat was getting shabby because the boy hugged him so much. All the pink had even rubbed off his nose because the boy had given him so many kisses. I bet that would happen to you if you were a rabbit because you're so cute and you get so many kisses, huh? Time to turn the page. Yeah? One day, the boy and the rabbit were playing outside. And two strange creatures came near. They were rabbits, too. But they were different. They had fur and twitched their noses. The wild bunnies teased the rabbit because he wasn't real. I am real, cried the velveteen rabbit. The boy said so. The wild rabbits laughed and hopped away. That wasn't very nice of them, was it? Time to turn the page. Without warning, the boy grew very ill, and the velveteen rabbit never left the boy's side. Many weeks passed before the boy got better. And then the doctor told Nana, Everything the boy had touched had got to be burned, which means thrown away. Oh, so sad. So sad. The rabbit was sad. What was the point of being loved if it ended like this? A tear, a real tear, see, fell from his eye. Where the tear landed, let's turn the page, a flower grew. The blossom opened and out stepped a fairy. I am the nursery fairy. I take care of love toys and make them real. Do you see her? Let's turn the page. Wasn't I real before? He asked. You were real to the boy because he loved you, the fairy said. And she scooped him up. See that? And they flew into the woods. She brought him to the wild rabbits to teach him. Please teach him all he needs to know, she said. He's going to live with you forever. The fairy flew away and the rabbit did something he never did before. Can you guess? 
He hopped. He was real. When the days grew warm, the boy went outside to play. He saw three rabbits hopping around the garden. One of them looked very familiar. It was his old rabbit returning to see the child who had loved him enough to make him real. Oh, how special. The end. Why don't you find out what happens when you give a toy enough love? Kaylin, I hope you like this story. It's one of my favorites. I love you. Now you be a good little girl. Jump into bed. Give Mommy and Daddy a big hug and a kiss. And remember, I always love you too.